Where have you been for the last few hundred years? It's a bit of a long story. Yeah, and it's a story that millions have read even more are going to see the movie. Welcome to Dailies. I'm Mike Richards. Two years after the original, The Chronicles of Narnia is back. The four young stars who started the Narnia movie craze, the Pevensey children, they return this time with an even bigger purpose. Dailies' Jill Simonian, she talked to them all. Uh, that's right, Mike. Now, here's the thing. In Narnia time, it's 1,300 years later than the first movie, and the Pevensey kids return to reinstate the rightful king, Prince Caspian, and free Narnia from evil. But even though the kids have grown, well, they're still not too old for initiating a certain new co-star. I wonder who lived here. I think we did. The fear that you have is, what if the kids don't get along anymore? What if something's happened? What if somebody's changed? They just slotted straight back in. There was the same teasing, the same bickering, the same cuddles. <laughs> so who was bickering? I don't, in the most I'm loving way, of course. Bickering. I don't think, I think <laughs> like, the nice thing about the four of us being so close is the fact that we not only know all each other's best bits, but we know all of each other's worst bits, and we tolerate them. Discovering Narnia three years ago marked the first major motion picture for all four young stars. And this time around, well, they dealt with almost double the number of special effects and some other changes. Some of your teeth were falling out during shooting and uh -huh. you had to wear false teeth. I lost these two and I had to have dentures and I left them in a napkin at a restaurant once. <laughs> and the next day, nearly all the production team were searching through the bins. Which parts are the stunt doubles and which parts are you? I did um, all of it pretty much. There was only one stunt in the whole film I didn't do and that was um, the jump over the drawbridge, but I did that in a studio anyway. Peter the Magnificent, right? That's what they call High you. King Peter. And High King Peter also initiated Ben Barnes into the family with orange juice. Ben had just got his, uh, his armor on, you know, everything looking perfect. For the beautiful. first time. First time, you know, everybody was around him. I go up like an idiot and I sneeze and squeeze the bottle and cover him. <laughs> sure enough, the director pulls up in the car and I'm like, oh no. So I'm in trouble. I, I, I run like straight from my car, have the newspaper up, and I don't think Ben was too happy with me after that moment. The Barnes won't have to worry about pranks like that anymore. Prince Caspian is the last time that Peter and Susan appear in the Narnia stories. How much are you going to miss her? There'll be tears. There'll be tears, <laughs> yeah. there'll be tantrums. Diana's be... going through serious counselling. It's I'm, all very traumatic. You know, don't know how I'm going to handle it. All four of them have cute personalities. Now, when she's not starring in movies, Anna Popplewell, who you just saw, studies English literature at Magdalen College in Oxford, and that's where C.S. Lewis spent much of his career. How about that? Wow, very talented and obviously <laughs> very smart. Mm -hmm. All right, and if you want even more of Jill Simonian and the cast of Prince Caspian, make sure you check out our Reels Channel Spotlight on the movie. It premieres Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, and then it'll air all weekend.